Scott Syfax is the president and CEO of Nehemiah Corporation of America, a nonprofit dedicated to creating economic opportunities for those in need. The organization primarily assists families in buying homes, including getting them approved for financing. Since 1997, they have approved aid to more than 200,000 families and granted more than $791 million in down payment gift funds. Today, Scott's here to talk about the inner workings of a nonprofit. Hello, Scott. Thank you for joining us on Making It. My first question, what does it take to form a, a nonprofit? Well, actually, it's pretty easy. One thing that you have to have fundamentally is passion. It all starts with a passionate individual. But past that, there are typical steps, which is one, you have to file with the IRS in order yeah. to get your 501c3 status. And then the second is, is that you have to file with the Secretary of State in order to form a nonprofit corporation. But I would say that of the three ingredients, the most important is the passion. Interesting. And of course, the first task, most important task for a nonprofit, is fundraising. How do you cope with that? Well, it's much like starting a private business, a for-profit business. The first place that you approach are your friends and family. <laughs> Um, okay. And those friends and family usually help because they believe in you and you believe in your project so much that they'll usually invest in that particular project. Past that, there's usually local government funding as well as private foundations that you can approach. But usually that first bit of capital, what you really start on, right. is coming either from yourself or those that love you. And know you. And, and, and support know, you. And support you, exactly. That's right. And how do you measure success in a, in a nonprofit university? That's an excellent question. The most important measure of success is that you know success when you feel it. When you can feel and see and touch the people and communities that you're trying to serve. But it's a, an extremely important question because increasingly these days, the folks that you go to to fund your nonprofit are asking for measurements in terms of how it is that you measure success because they're going to grade you on that. Because they're and, not so much looking for their investment to be repaid. Well, they're not looking for their investment to be, be repaid, but they want to make sure that it's going in, into nonprofits that are going to utilize it wisely. And so starting with the end in mind, finding out how it is that you can measure success is very important and how it is that others would value success. But once again, success is often measured by how it is that you, as the founder or, or the person starting that nonprofit, see how you can impact that community. And how do nonprofits get others to buy into uh, your vision, your mission? Well, once again, it comes back to that passion. Mm -hmm. When people are passionate about a cause, usually that is infectious, and people will buy into that vision and help you to make that a reality. And what is your corporation, the Nehemiah Corporation's mission? Our mission is to create wealth through the provision of affordable housing and home ownership and trying to rebuild communities one household and one family at a time. That's got to be tough right now with real estate so expensive. It is tough, but it's a mission that I'm passionate about, and I wake up every day recharged and looking to help that next family. Now, a lot of people, me included, being mm -hmm. a volunteer, we don't think that uh, nonprofits have to, uh, have to pay their employees. That's not true, is it? Well, I, I can tell you <laughs> that it is not true, and as a matter of fact, as problems become more and more entrenched, and as a matter of fact, as government mm. continues to move more and more over to the nonprofit sector in terms of trying to face society's challenge, you need a greater commitment on the behalf of individuals. But in order to make that commitment stick, you've got to have people who can raise a family and provide for themselves on nonprofit wages. Uh, and, so to, and so, you know, uh, unfortunately, the electric company does not consider your passion or your commitment <laughs> enough when that light bill is due. And so uh, one of the things that we always are trying to make sure that funders understand is that wages have to be able to support a person living a normal existence and, and being able to do the things that all of us like to do. All right. Thank you, Scott. Thank you. Interesting.